in my world, you have any idea what I had to do to get where I am today. And when I say I'm ready, you best believe it. This is Idris Elba. You've definitely seen him in The Wire, Luther, and throughout both the Marvel Cinematic Universe and the DC Extended Universe. And you've heard him voicing a number of animated characters, like video game icon Knuckles in Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Do I look like I need your power? But before rocketing to fame, one of his first TV roles was a pizza delivery man in the sci-fi series Space Precinct, in which his voice was bizarrely dubbed by someone else. When he calls, I go to the car park at the spaceport. That's where I pick up my pizzas. And so the climb began, appearing in a variety of British TV shows for nearly a decade before breaking into Hollywood as a soldier busting a drug lab in Buffalo Soldiers. Don't make another move! And then as a potential suspect in CSI Miami. I didn't shoot him. I just took the rest of my stuff and went home. Then came the multi-layered ensemble crime drama, The Wire as Stringer Bell, a second-in-command of a massive drug ring in West Baltimore, he was cutthroat and dangerous. But as an aspiring businessman, he strived to run more than just the street corner. We done worrying about territory, man. What corner we got, what project. Game ain't about that no more. It's about product. After The Wire, Idris starred in some big-budget projects, facing down a rage virus in 28 Weeks Later, fighting over drug territory with Denzel Washington in American Gangster, and butting heads with Michael Scott as a higher-up at Dunder Mifflin in The Office. Okay, so we're on the same page. Great. Okay, so we're on the same page. Great. Okay, Michael. What okay, Michael. No, what seriously. You doing? No, seriously. How old are you? How old are you? Oh, no. Idris then made a triumphant return to the UK as Luther a brilliant, rule-bending detective who sometimes has doubts about his methods. Do not worry, you're on the devil's side without even knowing it. Meanwhile, on the silver screen, Idris was busy doing a little bit of everything, like piloting a spaceship in Prometheus and a giant kaiju-fighting robot in Pacific Rim. Today we are canceling the apocalypse! And he received critical acclaim for his performance as a vicious guerrilla fighter in the Netflix film Beasts of No Nation. Are you ready to fight? Yes, sir. Are you ready to fight? Yes, sir. Idris has also been a frequent fixture of superhero films. After appearing in an early Marvel property film, Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance, he appeared as Heimdall, the all-seeing, all-knowing gatekeeper of the Bifrost Bridge in multiple MCU films. It was shrouded from me like the frost giants that entered this realm and jumped over to the DC Universe when he played Bloodsport, an anti-hero with a heart of gold in The Suicide Squad. We're all gonna die. But in 2011, Idris started dipping his toes into voiceover work. In 2016 alone, he played a tough police chief in Zootopia. We need to acknowledge the elephant in the room. Ferocious villain Sher Khan in The Jungle Book. These hills are my hills. You did not respond to reason. And a helpful yet territorial sea lion in Finding Dory. <laughs> Don't you worry about a thing. Then after playing a couple villains like the cybernetically enhanced Brixton lore in Hobbs and Shaw. Look at me, a black superman. As well as a bad little kitty cat in Cats. Ineffable. He continued his ongoing domination of animation as Knuckles in Sonic the Hedgehog 2. So whether you're rooting for him or you're just terrified, it's no question that Idris Elba is a force to be reckoned with.